Okay, so this is a 90 10 second game. So, just have. Wow, they're moving quick. Okay, so don't want it to be over too quickly. Really want to take some time over the moves. But what I was thinking was uh, the recent games that I've played online in the 90 10. Um, I've come out in advantages in them all of the games so far so it needs to be realistic because I'm like the 50-50 man when I go to these over the ball tournaments so I need I need these games to be a little bit stronger and tougher maybe not stronger and tougher as in like you know absolutely wiping the floor with me but I need to have questions asked maybe this person's going to ask the question it doesn't matter what rating they are looking at here. I'm not bothered about that. It's about the skill level that they potentially can show. We could capture. And it develops their knight. But there's no big problems there. What other things? I don't really want to try anything new. Ordinarily, taking the queen. It's not a disadvantage. It just develops his knight for them. We then develop. And just take and keep it simple. Just stick with what we know rather than try and do anything new. And if there's a problem, he's wanting to get rid of our knight so that the knight is protecting the pawn. He's probably still going to take anyway. Yep. So they're playing like it's an absolute blitz match. So I really want to get my simplicity in there. But like I said, I really want a tough game. I want, want tough games because I'm like the 50 50 man. Bishop's chomping at the bit to go here, but then it's giving the rook the two on one that they're wanting oh, let's do it anyway and then just bring the rook here defending keep it simple okay let's go here so yeah it's got to be realistic it's all good you know winning stuff online and you know winning all these games but then when it comes to the reality of it then you suddenly find yourself well how did you how did you not win the tournament when you've been winning online so this is the reality check that I really want to put to myself. I could put pressure on this pawn here. Is there anything majorly to attack? Could attack here but he takes. If we support with this pawn. I don't think he's going to give us chance is he? But if he opens up his king area. So we attempt to do this. Because we have the bishops out at the moment. Looking to sort of try and squeeze the pawn up here. But I've noticed I'm moving too fast again, so I need to just slow down a little bit. Yeah, reality is the game of the game for these 90-10s. Um, it's not impressive winning. I mean, in one of the recent 90-10s, um, the end game, really, the opponent could have won that quite nicely because my knight was unprotected and my king was getting squished. But the opponent didn't see it. I need the opponent to see these things so that I can really work on my game. Because I'm not the 50-50 man for a reason. I'm a 50-50 man because I make blunders or I don't see things that I need to see. Or I over-egg things or the devil finger comes out. There's a lot of stuff. Bishop can attack the rook. We could continue with the movement coming here. I think I'm going to continue with the movement with this for now. Might even go for the rook exchanges. Maybe. Yeah, shall we? Shall we? Shall we attempt? Rook exchanges pawns in the middle of the board, then everybody has to defend the pawn. Let's elevate the pawn beyond the knight. Uh, it's got a 2 on 1 still on there, but I don't really think we need to worry too much, do we? Or do we? I think we do, don't we? Damn, we've messed it up. Okay, so this is the player that's going to take me out of my winning streak. Yeah, I messed it up. Subliminally, they forced me to move fast, and I didn't want to move fast. I wanted to take my time, and now I'm in a, a kind of rubbishy position. So he's going to be a pawn up. His knight's going to be in the center. Even if we attack the rook, the rook just takes, and he's still the pawn up. Could bring the bishop here, attack his rook, but it doesn't really win us much. Yeah, we go there. He just moves his rook here. And he still wins that tempo because we go here, then his rook takes the pawn. Nothing else really, is there? Damn, and my dark square bishop just can't defend this pawn. Uh, it looks like that was... Um... Okay, so I'm going to be down a pawn. 
Can we wear them apples? Bring the rook up and then here. Then we'll have a double, but then he's going to bring his pawn down. Mm, interesting time. Okay, let's go there. I think that's the best option that I've got out of that. Yeah, so like I was saying, um, I do not mind losing at all. He's going to just take the bishop anyway, isn't he? But let's go here, double like we said. Don't mind losing at all because it's part of being realistic. Especially for the over the board games. I don't want easy games. I want to. I want games where I can practice my concepts. But not... Yeah, so he's brought the pawn down. So now, what can we do with this situation? Because what we want to do is just lean onto the rook a bit and comes here and then we take it off the board because we're not going to take the knight we, have, we can't put any pressure on the knight uh, he's come there and now he's cut himself well not really but really but no let's have a look we go here his knight takes rook takes bishop takes i don't think we win out there do we it looks good but there's something missing There's something missing. Bishop here. Knight definitely takes. Because he's got nowhere else to go with his rook. Unless of course he goes back with his rook. Knight definitely takes. We can't take back because he'll, his rook will take. And be on our king so we have to take. So then his bishop takes the rook. Are we down pieces there? I think we're down pieces there, aren't we? Bishop comes here. His knight takes it. We take it. For free. But we're up the exchange. If that happens. So I don't think that's going to happen, is it? I'm going to try it anyway and see what happens. No, we're not up the exchange at all. Because he's just going to get us back. Oh, they've resigned. <laughs> I got to look at the analysis on that one. That wasn't winning. <laughs> oh God. When am I going to take a loss, man? I've got to take a loss because it's not realistic getting all these wins. This ain't right. Okay, let's... Look at that! Blacks out without winning! <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> what are they doing? Oh dear, so we said protect potentially taking here but let's see what what did the computer say knight takes c4 yeah knight takes c4 and then we were thinking of taking this and then obviously he takes and we thought we we're going to be up the exchange but we're not we're down a piece because he's going to take our bishop there if we go take here then he's taken there so we're down a piece <laughs> that's shocking what did they think was happening Oh, that's got to be the worst game I've played for a while. And yet we still ended up winning. Oh, come on, people. Come on. Right, okay, I'm going to go into the next one. And I'm searching for a, a decent loss. That was a decent loss, but I don't know what... What did they see? That's minus seven. Unless, of course, they were fed up and they said to themselves, Oh, this is too easy. I'm, I'm not going to win. For some strange reason. But I don't think they'd do that, would they? Was he thinking that we <laughs> we'd actually got his rook? I think they probably did, you know. I think that was like a, a, one of those swindles. It's a swindle position. I think if they'd have taken the time and looked at it, they'd have realised that they actually were winning. Look at that. And the computer doesn't even suggest anything else. It just says taking the rook. Terrible position. Okay, I'm going to go into the next one.